I first met Ricochet uh, in a parking lot after an incident that had happened with one of Randy's friends and I called up Judy. We went and met Ricochet so that they could both decompress. So that was the first time. So that was probably about eight months ago that I first met them. He, when he gets home after being with Ricochet, he's completely is so relaxed, decompressed, and he's just he's very open. So if I have any questions, that's my time to ask him. He's very relaxed and calm, so it's, it's a lot easier to ask him things. He doesn't blow up or anything like that. So it's nice to be able to share things with him. Um, Ricochet's helped our relationship by Rennie being able to be more open. Beforehand, he was very covered and wouldn't even talk about anything, so I never even knew what the PTSD was until he was working with Ricochet. And then we managed to figure out what it actually was. I understood it. He would tell me all the events. And then it's brought us much more closer because we were able to talk about it. It's not hiding anything from me anymore. Uh, Randy had a service dog. After seeing how he is with Ricochet, I know he would be able to go to the store on his own. When he, he feels anxious, she, she does this strange thing. And it's not obvious to anybody what she's doing. But the way she reacts with him, it almost disappears instantly. And he forgets about that anxiety and the stress of being somewhere with people. And he came home, he was so proud of himself that he'd gone into a Walmart with Ricochet because he will ne never go into a Walmart. That's his number one place he will not go, is a Walmart. And he had Ricochet and he came home and he, he couldn't stop smiling. It went on for like a week. He couldn't stop smiling about how much it helped him. And with having two small kids, having a husband that can't go to the store makes it very hard. So I think it would help us a lot. Won't be so isolated. Um, Ricochet to me is, she's almost, she's an angel disguised as a, as a dog. She has brought so much joy to us. And I think before we met Ricochet, we were at a really low point. Um, there was talk of divorce and separation and stuff like that and it happened whilst my dad was there and he's like I just don't know what you guys are going to do and then he started his treatment with Ricochet and we have seen such a difference and my daughter loves her and the way she is with her is just amazing. She's made us so much better and better people and it's made us want to help other people too and reach out. I don't think there's any way I can put it into words as to what Judy and Ricochet mean to us. There's, there's not a word that explains it. They have always been there for us for anything and at the drop of a hat she'll be there with Ricochet. And even if Ricochet isn't there, I know she's the one person Randy can open up to. And that's the, one of the first times I've seen Randy open up was when we were with Judy, when I first met Ricochet. That was the first time he'd opened up and I'd never seen him act the way he did. There's, there's not a word to describe it. Um, I think if Ricochet could talk, I think she would, that would be the one thing. She'd ask where the treats were and then can I come and stay with you? <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to go back home. I think that would be, I think she would want to be able to have Randy with her. The way she reacts is just, I mean, you've probably seen it yourself. It's so, she knew he wasn't feeling good. And he, she wouldn't, she wasn't bugging him. She just sat underneath his head and was licking him. And it's amazing what she does. I think she'd have a lot to say if she could talk. <laughs>